Hello friends and family, brothers and sisters. I'm here today at the Tri-State, I'm at the park. We've been looking for James and we finally found him. I'm glad, I'm so happy that I came back uh, and, and I found him, so that's, that's awesome. That's an awesome thing that we were able to um, find James. Uh, we wanna do an update with James. Uh, James is a, a veteran, a homeless veteran, so this is the reason I've been wanting to do this uh, this interview. Hello, James. How you doing? Ah, uh, good, brother. How are you? I remember uh, we did the interview like three weeks ago, I think. Yeah. Right. And uh, you were telling us about your situation. You know our what our channel's about. We uh, we interview homeless people, homeless, uh, hunger, hunger, uh, addiction, mental health, and but most important, we do. Uh, homeless veterans yeah. so just give us an update you know maybe well, five every, six minutes and you know yeah. we'll be good okay yeah well uh, away in again on uh, my situation and my testimony is ongoing because you know it's a good fight of faith and uh, we need to walk by you know faith not by sight and I'm in the trenches every day and I'm getting attacked by the enemy every day it's Ephesians 6 for real and uh you know try to be encouragement in the darkest of places leaves you in the dark and you have to be comfortable in that darkness and um and every once in a while you see those dim lights that help you see through that crawl through that hole right now i'm living in a tunnel i'm good with it because you know there's some psychological aspect of seeing that light at the end of the tunnel and there's a lot of people that are in your same situation so down in these storm drains this is LA, this is Las Vegas, this is Laughlin, this is Bullhead. You know, in every storm drain, there might be someone reaching out for help. And I'm there pointing them the way. You know? Well, James, you said that you've been uh, checking out our channel and if you know, if you know- uh, The popularity and the attention it's getting? Yeah, yeah. and we, we've gotten five people, six people off the street into That's their right. own places, into their own apartment, you know. Um, all and about it. So, uh, can you give us any updates about your your situation, your living situation? Your yeah. uh, well, I mean, it's like a temporary place where <clears throat> in the winter time I feel warm and I need to save up money for my own place. And you know, my thing is panning for gold. And uh, you know, I've staked my claim down there in the storm drain because there's gold flake there, and I know I can make money on what I'm doing and getting people on but it's like a team effort and anybody that shows any kind of initiative i'm bringing them in on this opportunity to get out of the financial bind and have more liberty and independence oh happy veterans day by the way yes did you have a good one yes then? yeah it was a great we, day we spent it with another veteran okay yeah well everything went swimmingly <laughs> you know it was it was a good i felt good in my spirit I felt good in the Holy Spirit of things, of what thing, you know, because like I really got myself into a rut. And now I have to get myself out, you know, I have to get back to the plow again right. and come into that realization has made me kind of face reality for what it is. And I've sobered up. Okay. Um, but I do every once in a while kind of uh, fall back, you know, backslide on some things that if I need some white, you know, to do something, I'll hit, you know, my. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. And, uh, you know, I want to get to a place where I can eliminate all that altogether. And I've been in those places, and that's where I want to be because sobriety is important. And I know I have the strength, you know, within me because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. And as long as I link up with fellow believers, you know, and really kind of tell them to get down of what's going on in my life, they understand that they're on the board too. And this is this is how Christianity is propelling forward, you know, as a movement, as a whole right. movement, the election, everything, Trump, um, it, it all plays a part in God's will and I'm just surrendering to it. So, um, have you, you know, one of my last questions was this dangerous thing happened out here uh, with the homeless men and women. Has Behind anything? closed doors, usually, in, yeah. in the homes that we, you know, I don't have access to these places, and nor shouldn't, you know, because it's like the whole place has a dark cloud on it. People are very hush-hush and quiet, 
and uh, you know everything done in darkness will be exposed Amen. to the light you know there's nothing that can be done without almighty knowing about it you know and it's like uh I'm just trying to fight the good fight of faith every day. I slip up, but I, I pray, and I have good intentions. And you know, the good intentions. You know, they they say that hell, the uh, hell is paved with man's good intentions. You know, and it's very true because we intend to do good, but it's our flesh, it's the enemy, it's the it coming at us on all sides, and we got to be aware of these temptations and overcome them. James. Um can you tell the people what happened to your bike? It got stolen like the same, like uh, like a night after the interview I had with you. It was intended for a girl, her name's Hope. She's under the care of uh, a good friend of mine, Brandy, and a lot of surrounded by a lot of friends, projected by her own family and stuff. So she's surrounding herself, you know, she's going through it. Every one of my good friends within my circle are going through it major. I have a friend who had an allergic reaction, his whole face swelled, you know. He's a drug addict, you know, we're all drug addicts, you know, trying to overcome and trying to fix this, right. the head, you know, but the head needs to be connected to the heart, you know, and uh, it, even me, you know, I'm saying this to remind myself because I know what I'm capable under the influence of drugs because it's pharmakia, it's spell conjuring, it's a type of witchcraft. You know, and I'm opening the door and portals to a whole realm that we're not even supposed to see because the fight has been won by the angels, you know, two against one. Where two or more are gathered in his name, so shall he be, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm very much on that platform trying to speak within the darkness and let the light of my truth, because it is the words of God that I speak, if it lays on the deaf ear, then I know that I'm throwing my pearls before the swine. And I need to uh, really get a hold of that spirit because the fight is here, it's now. It's so, with, it, it, it's intense, you know? It's in these tent cities of uh, people that need help and they need a true Christian to go that's been in that fight before to pull them out of it, you know, but sobriety is definitely key because the, the devil walks around like a roaring lion, sinking to me and may devour, you know, that's why it says be sober, be vigilant, because your enemy is that lion looking to devour you, to kill you, you know, they are not your friend, they, you know, and so is sin, sin leadeth to death, and that's what we're doing, we're killing ourselves off, you know. I'm trying to smoke less cigarettes, but it's like lesser of two evils. It's like I'm trying to find balance within chaos. Right. If that makes sense. Right. And you, and I know you've been there before, brother. Yes. And uh, you know, and I'm in this fight, and I'm glad we li linked up, you know, nice. because I'm all for it, man. I see evil all around me, and I want to be on the other side, fighting the good fight. You know. What Amen. I mean? And I'm in the trenches every day. And uh, I fight with and war with myself most, you know, because why take the plank out of my fellow's eye if, you know, or why take the speck, right? When I'm blinded by this plank in my own eye, because right. I gotta love me first. Before, yeah. I got it before all else. I gotta love God with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. But what's the key in that? It's loving yourself. Yes. Would, if I truly love myself, would I do anything toxic no. to put toxic you know in in my temple and what god and that's not being a good steward so it's that conviction that i know of that i war with and seeing friends like being each other's enablers is making me go crazy because it's you know doing the same damn thing over and over again it's the insanity of expecting a different result or an outcome coming out of yeah. it that's you know, true insanity, doing the same thing over and over. That's what I'm saying. That's and killing us. I'm trying to liberate myself yes. from the crazy house, you know, mm -hmm. or, you know, just congregating amongst the, you know, just, I, you know, there, I keep my distances because, you know, there was someone that, you know, had a falling out with fentanyl, and I won't mention any names. It happens every day. This is the reality of the world we're living in, and it's the fentanyl that is giving these young kids, like they get off on it, you know, they, they just, 
you know, these near-death experiences, it's the new craze, and it's crazy. It's mm. like uh, the angel of death knocking at your door every time you do it. And family members that love their loved ones that are out there are doing that. And that's what we're dealing with, too, is, uh, you know, you got this mom that's concerned that her, that she, her son, the oldest, had fallen out, you know, and uh, he's a friend of mine. You know, and you know, it's like you need friends in those times because if anybody's doing that fallout, you know, and, and those red flags, are, or they're giving away all their stuff and they're in this deep depression, there's many ways, you know, suicide is there, you know, but suicide is a sleeper. It, and, the, and death comes about like a thief in the night, taking people away and they want to sleep. What's the most comfortable way you can say that somebody has died and passed on? That they did it in their sleep, and that's what a lot of people are doing. Uh, um, you said something very interesting and that excited me, but I can't do it today because uh, my wife and I and my daughter, we're going, we'll be heading to Phoenix and then to, from Phoenix to Texas for seven or eight days. So, but when I get back, you said that you would take me to where you live yeah some of those well yeah it's my hood you know it's, it's like your body is your body is your hood yeah that's right and that's you know it, i'm pleased in my own street before we want to complicate things with the copperheads you know it's like they have their own click when you're staring at a loaded gun right. what's the difference you know but we're all trying to fight evil and terrorism and you know fear it is a liar yes. you know and the father of lies is satan and i'm very much not his opposition i want to fight that fight and yes. i see and feel within my spirit it is time to get back in the trenches and fight so you and say pray for me please yes because, we'll pray for you know, brother really, james yeah in the name and of I, jesus and oh, there's sure. those times where i feel it because i'm empathic to it i feel it and uh it's that faith that faith is a shield you know and the truth and the salvation of it all walking by faith so you say you'll take me to the tunnels yes in big i mean in laughlin come with us as we journey through laughlin yes. and some yes. of the underground yes thank you james i appreciate that so much um so we'll probably see you uh when we get back and then uh james uh so you you're in need of a, a bike or a, or or a inner tube, tube a 24 inch tube i kind of landed in laughlin and it's been hard to get mobile ever since and that's how much does an inner tube cost think, you know it's uh you know I, I i think it's like you know 15 bucks or something like that at most but you know eight eight to you know i think walmart's pretty affordable but yeah okay so if anybody wants to help with that, I'm going to try to help him a little bit. But if anybody else can help, uh, he's looking for another bike. His bike and was stolen. And I'm approachable. If you see me in the area, don't feel, you know, yeah, feel free. He's very to, approachable. Yeah, feel free to come up and talk to me. His name is James. He's a homeless veteran. And uh, are look, you are you trying to get your 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 resources back from the vet? I'm trying to get. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I'm waiting on my ID because with my phone, you know, I, I spend oh, a lot man. of time. You lost in the river. your phone, right? Yeah, I'm gathering up a lot of, uh, I came across an 1864 penny, you know, in my treasure hunting along the coast of the Colorado River. I pan through gold, you know, I want to get to a place where I have a smelting thing of my own business. It's my right. dream of mine. And I got a, you know, bite of the gold fever, you know, out here because it is the number one paying blue collar job in the area. And I'm educating myself through a trial by fire, literally. So, um, you found an 1865 penny? Yeah. What'd you do with it? Did you just sell I it? I sold it. How much? 20 bucks. Oh, man. Yeah. Would... Hello. So, How are you? And I just met this lady and I heard some things about her, some you? good things. And uh, another Christian lady that yeah. I wanted you to. Oh, okay. What's meet? her name? What was your name again? Oh, that's my wife. Oh, my bad. <laughs> she looks like the lady that just came to the park. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my wife. <laughs> I just saw you and your girl, play. and I didn't see your wife there. No, I just pulled up. How you oh, doing? Oh, okay, good. How are you? Good. good. So good. That's a good update, James. I appreciate you gave yeah. us that update. Um, we have he's lots gonna, of people he's, praying for he's you. He's going to take Thank me to you. the tunnels uh, next when we get home. He's going to yeah, take me to the tunnels. Just be you. prayed up and everything. That's yeah. my post right yeah. now is in this tunnel. Amen. And uh, there will probably be some people approachable to okay. want to interview, interview with you guys. Okay. But I'll ask them and give them a heads up, too. Okay. There's about... I want to say about 
a good handful of people that are pretty uh, cored in, you know, and engrafted into the tunnel because the tunnel is a way to get away from the wind. It is shelter. There is no rains in the season, and it's kind of like a refuge in right. a weird way. And it's like a calm peace, and you want to surround yourself with people you yes. know. And that's what's going down down there. Did you have you talked to Leslie? Did you ask him? Yeah, he yeah, really I told did. me. He, I talked. She, to him. He's she's with Big Jim, that guy Big Jim. So she's good. He yeah. said she's good. She's um, under, you know, a good uh, caretaker. I, I, I would definitely get involved if she wasn't is, in a good place. Is Paulette up here? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Paulette went uh, back to Vegas. Oh, good, to get her other... Yeah, and I believe Teresa kind of went as her companion and her oh, moral good. support. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, good. yeah because we're in her, we got to go, babe. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to say one more thing for you guys. Please, subscribers, you guys are awesome. You guys have always come through for us. If there's anybody that can help James, yeah. he needs... He needs a bike. His bike was stolen. He had a very nice bike, nice and it was bike. stolen. Yeah. So if anybody could help with a bike, uh, that would be much appreciated. Because yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's it's a, you know, a pedal bike to a homeless person is a huge hand up because uh, it gets people mobile. Right. It gets them to cross county lines. Even <laughs> you right. know, what I mean, we we got to get things done. We want to get, you know, I got a job I can do right now if I had the resources and tools. But it's just coming together and getting your head on straight and stuff like that in the amongst of, you know, a wilderness, a concrete jungle out there. And, uh, you know, the enemy is there and the enemy's strong and it's at the door knocking and mm -hmm. it's up to us to not answer. So you're working on getting your ID so you can get your your VA benefits back? It's already been done. Uh, okay. Catholic Charities is another oh, group nice. that helps nice. me out. Uh, you got uh, Nation's Finest and you got the River Fund. You got these three groups that kind of network together to help the homeless as well and veterans alike. Okay. Uh, I go through Catholic Charities for right now because I'm engrafted in the culture of the people there. Okay. And it's important to me to know and meet people and, right. you know, kind of what you're doing is, uh, you know, I, I want to be all about that. Okay. And we'll talk Thank a you. little more off camera with some other yes. resources. Okay, uh, James, I appreciate you. Thank you for this update. And I'll see you when we get back. I'm really looking forward to going to the tunnels. And I'm sure my subscribers, when we do the tunnels, I want to go live. Yeah, so that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. So thank yeah. you, James. You're awesome, bro. I yeah. appreciate you. And, Good to uh, see you. Yeah, no doubt. Any closing words? Yeah, just uh, look me up in Laughland. You know, it's a comics uh, dream come true. Not really. You know, I want to pull myself out and... Uh, I got things that I'm working on, you know, I'm not a perfect... Give out your Facebook and your, your other yeah, social so media. Yeah, so hashtag done show, uh, hashtag D-U-N-N-S-H-O-W. And uh, I do live podcasts as soon as I get a phone, you know what I mean? So it's exciting times that I live in. Uh, I, you know, I try to keep my chin up. Um, you know, it's it's a dark depression that you have to fight and combat with, and you have to get up, and you have to get going, and you have to have that godlike strength. You know, because the joy of the Lord is my strength. My strength you yes. know, and that doesn't go away. You know, being happy, you know, is a man-made thing. Amen. You know, but Every being day is a new day. being that man of a satisfied man and of a content heart and a clean heart, creating me a clean heart and renew a right spirit yes. within me. And this is what we have to die to the man and rise up in newness of life because Amen. we're walking amongst the dead and we need to be in spirit. Light, light. Amen. So, yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, brother James. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah.